Hi, in this Affinity Publisher tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add shadows to your text. So I'm going to grab the artistic text tool over here on the left, and we'll just make a really nice word here. And we'll center that a little bit. Okay, and I have this kind of in this kind of cherry colored so that we can really see what's going on. Zoom in a little bit. Now over in the layers panel here, I am going to go to the bottom here where it says FX and just click that. I had the layer selected when I clicked FX. And then we've got a list of different effects that we can add to it. So to add a shadow, I'm going to click the add outer shadow. And then we can work with some of the different effects. So in order to see it, the first thing I want to do is turn up the offset and that will show me the shadow. So once I have the offset and I can see it, I'm going to start working with the radius and this is going to blur it. So if you want it to just kind of look like a shadow without it really having like that drop shadow look, um, then this will do that. And then you can also play with the angle of where the light is coming from by spinning this around here. You can also double click in the center and just choose your exact number of degrees that you want your shadow to be. It's typical for it to kind of have the light coming from this direction and the shadow here. So let's turn the radius back down and then we can kind of look at intensity. And so that kind of widens it up a little bit. So I'm going to keep that pretty low. We can also change the sorry, the color of it. So I'm going to click on this color box. So let's say we wanted it to be a variation of this pink. So I could make it a little bit more like that and have it be kind of a gray pink. Um, and then we can also mess with the opacity so I can make it very solid or I can make it very, very light and subtle. So if you wanted to add more shadow, there's a little plus here. You could duplicate that and now you can see we've just doubled up the effect on there. So if I turn this off and on, you can see we've just made it a lot more intense by duplicating it. If you want to get rid of that extra effect, you can just exit and it will get rid of it and delete that. Okay, so that is how you add shadows to text.